Good morning. Welcome to Yellow Door Urban Homestead. I am Asia and I'm an urban gardener growing in a small space in my backyard. Today we have reassessed the garden and you can see I am top dressing some bags. There is the garden. It's looking amazing y'all, but there are some things we need to do. <laughs> so I think I have, I have digressed on the peppers that's in these beds. I want those peppers. I want those peppers bad <laughs> and I want all of them. So what I have decided is that I am going to go ahead and transplant them into the bags. The bags that I was going to use for more potatoes, but I still have time. I also have more bag. So that's one of the things we're going to do today. We're going to top dress these bags. My camera keeps fogging up. <laughs> we're going to top dress these bags. We are going to take out the tomatoes that have died. Um, I lost another one or two Amish paste. I don't know what that's about. Um, actually, maybe I do. They're in full sun all day long because I have another Amish paste that is not and it looks amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and pull those and transplant the tomatoes that were in the compost pile um, into those bags. Also, if there are any like long suckers, like if I have bags left, um, if there are any long suckers, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the bag as well. Um, what else are we doing today? We have a, oh, Vivor sent me a water collection um, barrel of sorts. And so we're gonna put that together too. I know everybody's like, why don't you cover your water? I just don't. And so it doesn't bother me not to cover it, but Vivor did give me a water collection uh, barrel and we're gonna put that together as well today. And I'm gonna try my best to keep this camera <laughs> from fogging up. <laughs> It rained yesterday and so it's hot out here also wet out here which makes which makes humidity and so the humidity is really making my camera fog up this morning but y'all look it's just looking so good out here I harvested some cucumbers this week I did not uh, record it because most times it is very hot and I just want to get the vegetables <laughs> So another thing that we know about these beds is that beans grow well in them. So what I'm going to do is when I transplant those peppers into these bags, I'm going to go ahead and plant some more beans in the back, um, which will give me more beans to harvest and more beans to eat. <laughs> the other thing um, that we are going to do today is I haven't gotten around to starting the plants for the brick holes. Um, we still have some onions left in this one. We have quite a bit of onions left in this one. However, this one, there's only one onion left growing. So what we're gonna do is direct sow and hope for the best. Um, I am gonna put more compost in the holes to fill them in, to give them a little more nutrients um, so that when these plants start to attempt to grow, they will have the nutrients that they need. So let's go ahead and get to work on moving these peppers. That is the first order of business. So all I'm going to do is dig around the plant, try to get as much roots as I can. Um, and then that's what I'm going to move over into the bag. So uh, let's get to it. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I was expecting to see something with this soil, like super dry soil or super crusty soil. It's not what I found. So kind of still on the hunt for why those didn't grow well in this bed. Um, I was also expecting to see maybe compacted soil under here and that's not what I'm seeing. So it could just be that, you know, it was a lot of them back here. Although I've grown six peppers back here before um, when I first started gardening and they grew just fine. So I have to figure out what happened back here and in the other bed for that matter. Um, I don't know, it's in direct sun all day too. So maybe it does dry out faster 
But anyway, what I do know is these beans will grow and that's what we're gonna put back here. So we're gonna finish moving these um, and then we're gonna move on to our next project. Like, yeah, it's not compacted. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out though. Well, move on to plan B. We'll get our peppers in the bags, grow those. Um, closer to like August or so, I'll maybe fill up the other bags that I have and that's what I'll grow my um, fall potatoes in. You know, it works. Sometimes you just gotta change up your plan. Also, I need to water this bag in really good and I'll probably do all of them at once once I get them all out um, and into the bags. Also, we are going to see some transplant shock. I don't want anyone to think that I don't think that I will. Uh, we may lose some of the peppers that's on the plants, but more than likely they're gonna bounce back and they'll be just fine. So it is later in the day. Um, it got so hot out here, I could not even deal with it, y'all. But it done rain, thank goodness it rained. It's cooler, it's like 83 degrees, it is overcast. I'm so happy um, because there's so much I wanna get done. I have my seeds that we're gonna put in the brick holes. And let me show you the peppers. Um, not a lot of transplant shock right now, even though it was so hot out here earlier. So let me show you real quick. So yeah, they are, they're still looking pretty good. This one was already a little yellow when I put it out here. Okay, so we have transplanted our peppers now. So they're going all the way up this row. Once they start to look like those, this will be a walkway full of peppers. That's actually where I grew my peppers last year. Um, this year, of course, I had the bags with the potatoes in them originally, so I didn't have the bags to use. Um, let me show you the spot where we took them out of, where we're gonna just plop some beans in for the rest of the growing season because I know they will grow. And I'll try to work on this soil. You know, also, beans help the soil. So I'm getting a two for one. These beans should help the soil, and I'll get some beans. So right here, is where we took out those plants in the back um, and so we still have some basil that one is flowering i always have a problem growing that i think it's italian basil italian large leaf maybe that one's flowering too so we'll see what happens we're gonna leave those um and then the zinnias see that right there that's a zinnia it's gonna um go ahead and flower and we got our first dahlia up there too so that's what that space is looking like. That's what this space is looking like. And we're gonna just plant some beans in there. I need to go get my bean seeds. I brought all my seeds except my beans. <laughs> okay, so we got our bean seeds. These are a blue lake bush bean. Got them from my local feed and seed store. This is a contender bean. Also got it from my local feed and seed store. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up this portion of the project and move along. I'm just gonna Go ahead and um, even the soil back out back here. This is the perfect time to plant because it just rained. So just like that, we have planted out a row of beans. They'll start to grow. These are already producing beans. Just waiting for them to get a little bit bigger, but Yep, we got beans coming on and flowers and stuff all in here. So now we planted out some beans. I'm not gonna plant in between here cause zinnias can get pretty bushy, so can basil. Um, and so we're just gonna leave that the way it is, but we went ahead and grabbed some, put some beans in there. So now that we've done that, it's time to do this other bed. And I've decided I'm going to move the uh, Swiss char that's back here. I think I'm going to put it over by the zucchini that has gotten knocked over in the rain. But I think I'm gonna put it over here because I think it would benefit from the shade, um, the ones over there. So that's the zucchini. We have a zucchini growing. I have harvested off of this. Look at that, y'all. Squash bug. Oh, he jumped down. I got him. And we're done. <laughs> um, so I need to check these leaves, honestly. It got knocked over in the rain, so I'm probably gonna try to push it that way, and then I'm gonna put the Swiss chard right here. Well, 
lost most of that. It's all right. And move this over here. It doesn't have a lot of roots right now because I lost most of them digging them up, but I think it'll be fine. It'll transplant okay. I've done this before. <laughs> So in this bed, I am noticing like super dry soil and it just rained. So we're going to water this in really good before we do any more planting. Yeah, it's like super dry going all the way down. Yep. So we're going to water that now. When I started both of these beds, these were my first two beds when I started gardening. Started them with very uh, cheap soil. And so, you know, we're just going to have to work on it. Didn't seem to have an issue in the fall though. Hasn't actually had an issue growing in a while. But we're gonna go ahead and soak it really good and move on to the tomatoes and then we'll come back and plant the beans. Maybe even water it again. I just wanna make sure that the water soaks down into it. Okay, so we have about five or six tomatoes that we lost while I was out of town. We're going to go ahead and cut those out of the bag, take out the roots and stuff, add some compost to the bag, and then replant the tomatoes that were in the compost pile. So I'm going to start back here with these Amish paste because I think they pretty much don't have any tomatoes left on them. Uh, let me see. So that's the ones we lost. <laughs> um, actually, this one still has a few. Uh-oh, that one failed. But like these are blushing, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those. The rest of them are pretty small, so it's not a big deal. Kinda wanna get this done today, and they're not probably gonna get any bigger because the plant is dead. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these three. It's this one, this one, and this one. Plant out. I did grab a basket because I knew some of these plants had, um, had died and had some tomatoes on them. So they're blushing. We're just gonna go ahead and take the blushing ones and take them in the house. We have some others that are blushing too, so maybe we'll do a small harvest out here as well. But we're gonna go ahead and take these plants out. That's another blushing one, another blushing one. So we'll go ahead and put those in the basket and get ready to take these plants out. Um, there are, there is one over here see it right there there's one right there now what I don't know is if I can put something else in here because you have these sweet potatoes <laughs> that are huge growing wow great greenery so I might not be able to put anything back in that bag hello girls the girls what have you done with the babies <laughs> where are the babies oh wow <laughs> They're in the coop. I'm being silly. I don't know why they're in the coop. Maybe because it was raining. <laughs> um, and then we have one here. Right here we're going to go ahead and take out. And then there's another one here we're going to have to take out. We have a lot of blushing tomatoes in here. So we'll probably... Oh, wow. What's that? Is that a San Marzano? That thing's huge. Look at it. Oh, it came off. So look at that. Got a little blemish, but that thing is huge, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the basket. <laughs> Very easy removal out of the trellising system. Um, I'll just watch the others and as they go up, I'll push them through. But you know, we're going to take these green ones, too. They'll, they'll ripen in the house. So, we'll take them. And if not, well, they will. It happened last year. But they take a while to ripen when they're this green in the house. I could make, like, I don't know, some kind of green tomato salsa or something. Who knows? So, we're going to go ahead and dig out the roots. And then we're going to put some compost in these bags. I'm going to transplant the plants. Perfect time to get the weeds out as well oh uh, those weren't mommy's paste those were the sheboygans good to know maybe
maybe not the best plants for my area. It's my first time trying to grow those Sheboygans. I thought they were the Amish paste. They aren't. Which is why the other Amish paste is alive. <laughs> Alright, let me go get some compost. Alright, so we're just going to top dress the bag really quick. And then we're going to move those tomatoes in here and go do the other two. And we'll be done with the tomatoes. Revamping the tomato bags. We have another Sheboygan on the other side that's dying too, but it has a lot of tomatoes on it. So we're going to give that some time. Those bags are top dressed. Now let's go dig out the compost tomatoes. <laughs> I do not know what varieties these are, and I did not get a lot of the root, but I think they'll be fine. I'm gonna plant them deep, just like I always do, and we'll see eventually what we get out of these tomatoes. <laughs> and I'll probably water those in too, just to make sure the roots make connection with the soil underneath. so we are done with those three there are some more i am not going to record it i'm just going to get it done because we have other stuff we need to do <laughs> i decided on this side i'm just going to use a sucker and i'll let the other ones that's still growing in the compost pile continue to grow and then you know as things die i can use those and the suckers so i just pulled a sucker off of a pineapple tomato i'm going to take this lower leaf off of it and i'm going to replant that over here of course we know we're going to see quite a bit of shock from this but it will bounce back. We did that. I'll show you the one that we did a while ago. It is growing us some tomatoes. But let me grab another sucker off of something and keep this party, keep this party moving. <laughs> so I don't have as much compost left as I thought I was going to have left. Um, and so we are not going to do the holes in the bricks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I forgot. There's a bag over here. We are going to do some of the holes in the bricks, as many as we can get done with the compost that we have left. But it's supposed to rain like on and off this evening. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the blushing tomatoes. And I figured I would take y'all along with me like this one is blushing. I'm probably not going to take it. It's not blushing a lot. I think this is a, this is a great white. So... Yeah, but it's not blushing a lot, so I'm going to leave it. But some of them that are blushing much more, I'm going to go ahead and grab those. Um, I have been watering well, but sometimes tomatoes can split when it rains a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and grab them. This right here, my favorite, my favorite, Cherokee Purple. <laughs> go ahead and take that one. I had the most delicious bacon and tomato sandwich today. I went to the gun range and I, we were there for like two hours. I was so tired. And when I got back home, I was like, oh, well, actually, on the way there, I was starving because I did not eat. And then we stayed there for two hours and I was like, I'm so hungry. But I passed a million fast food restaurants and I just did not want it. And then I was like, I know what I want. I want a bacon and tomato sandwich. So I stopped by the store, picked up three packs of bacon and two packs of bread so that I can have bacon and tomato sandwiches whenever I want to right now. Like this is one of the things, this is one of the things that I wait for at this time of the year. Like I wait for like, I know tomatoes are coming. I know Cherokee purple tomatoes are coming. I know bacon and tomato sandwiches are coming. <laughs> what is the one thing you wait for in the summer? Like that you know you're going to eat and you're like, oh my God, I cannot wait. It's bacon and tomato sandwiches for me, y'all. All right, we got us a, what's this? Brandywine yellow. They really turn more orange than yellow, if I'm honest. But they are, they are delicious. I'm right here is another great white and you can see looks green at the top but it is white at the bottom gonna go ahead and take that this one is not what's this that's a pineapple so we'll go ahead and take that one too because it's blushing pineapple tomatoes get huge and they have been producing so well in my garden 
this year have so many on the table i need to i need to make my sauce that was a uh spider web it was all over me <laughs> all right let's go see what else we have y'all this is turning into a video of all things <laughs> oh look at that what is that i gotta see which one it's on this is another cherokee purple down here my favoritas yeah then i think this is also a cherokee purple yep and there's one in here go ahead and grab that another cherokee purple and there's one down here this blushing too cherokee purple what else might we have in here i think this is what is it on it's on this one this is a black beauty go ahead and grab that one too black beauty baskets they fill up quickly at this time of year my whole kitchen table and i'll show y'all that at the end of this video is full of tomatoes tomorrow i've been meaning to do it ever since my air went out and i haven't gotten back around to it but i have been eating them also gave a few of them away my chickens keep filling their food container up with shavings i'm sure it's food under it they wouldn't know though because they put a bunch of shavings in it <laughs> all right let's see this is an amish paste pretty sure of that nope that's a san marzano i was pretty sure and wrong san marzano right there this is a black beauty i think that's blushing let me make sure yep another black beauty that's blushing Please, and the blueberries got out of control <laughs> there's a whole bunch of blueberries on here y'all and they may have dried out at this point because i haven't picked blueberries and i don't know how oh, they didn't dry out they still look good i need to pick those let's see oh my goodness and they super sweet i might be picking them and oh my goodness they real sweet like they've been sweet but not like that maybe i was picking them too early y'all because those are super sweet they've been sitting on that vine for i don't know how long a long time <laughs> all right let's see i don't think we got any more over here well yeah we do it's a black beauty right here that's blushing it's another blushing black beauty okay so much work to be done i gotta get them blueberries that blueberry was so good oh my goodness yeah i got to get those there are some san marzanos that's blushing um but they're very early in the blush process so we gonna move on let's move on we got some right here this is a what is this i i need to tie these tomatoes up i was out here tying them up one day and it was so hot and i gave up <laughs> this is a thorn birds terracotta it's blushing so we're gonna take it i haven't ever grown these before so we'll see what they taste like i'll put it to the side because i also think it's the first time i harvested from it this is a white tonsil also a delicious tomato i got that as a free seed pack and it was good i think i got the great white as a free seed pack i didn't think about growing white tomatoes but i got them as free seed packs and they they were delicious y'all let's see what else might be ready and available i don't see anything on that side but we have more tomatoes back here <laughs> look at the watermelon it's trying but it knows its owner <laughs> oh here we go this is a black beauty blushing black beauty i think this is also a black beauty yeah yeah that's from that plant um something blushing back here too it's a tiny one look at that so amazing y'all oh like i was telling you this is the uh sucker that we put in just like stuck it in the ground look at that must have been some kind of paste tomato that's what it's looking like but it's growing tomatoes and going right up this tea post <laughs> so that's pretty cool the other one is doing the same thing remember we put two in i think we did three one of them did did go kaput but um I mean, let me show you the other one 
This is the other one coming up, coming up. Got a sucker growing in it. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. And there we have it. And it has flowers on it. So we'll be getting some tomatoes off of that too. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about it. So um, like I said, if you don't have time, put them in a bag, put them in the ground. They'll end up growing. <laughs> Our tomato harvest for tonight. So many tomatoes, y'all. Let's see. I saw something from over. Yep, there it goes. That's another blushing one right there. Put that in there. And then let's get to moving on these brick holes. It's kind of a revamp for summer that we're doing. <laughs> and I'm excited about it. The guy's going to look a little bit different, um, but we're going to have new things and I'm, I'm excited about it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work, <laughs> but I'm, I'm happy about it. Oh, look at all of these calendula. I might go ahead and take them to, since I'm out here and kind of uh, harvesting things now, go ahead and grab this calendula. Plan to make some salve out of this. It's good for your skin. I also plan to try it in tea this year. I've made salve before. I've never tried it in tea. Um, so, look at that. All those calendula. There are some chamomile ready as well but i won't won't put you through me harvesting that um yeah let's go ahead and work on the bricks i didn't have a lot of nasturtium seeds so i'm probably just going to put the nasturtiums in like the four brick holes at the end and then honestly i'm not keeping up with the pattern that we talked about i'm just gonna plant i'm gonna plant because i'm late and it's july and it's hot but it's not that hot tonight like i said it rained and so it's not that hot tonight um and i'm happy it's like six something and it's not hot it's like in the 80s overcast feels really good out here so i want to take advantage of this weather while i have it because it's been really really hot in our area but also <laughs> more calendula so we're gonna go ahead and take that too i've been having a really good calendula season this year my nasturtiums look horrible down here i don't i do know why but i do know why it's been really hot <laughs> okay so it is getting pretty late um i'm not going to be able to get the water collection uh barrel uh, barrel barrel <laughs> barrel up tonight um it'll be in the wednesday video because i plan to do it tomorrow it rained so i need to move the rain out of the container that it's in under the spout in order to get the barrel under there so we're gonna go ahead and fill in these holes plant what we can and then i'm gonna say goodbye to y'all for the evening <laughs> all right so there's not a lot of uh weeds in here which is great because i don't have to weed first um if there's something covering the hole like these snapdragons are covering the hole we're not going to put any more compost in it or try to plant because it's not going to get enough sun but everything that's going to get enough sun we're going to go ahead and um put some compost in here and plant i'm hopeful to get my teddy bear sunflowers from this planting <laughs> and i'm just using black cow like i always do no other amendments i'm really trying to get into the habit of only using compost and fish emulsion and comfrey tea when the comfrey tea shows that it is like i have it right and it's working um i'm also gonna get rid of the fish emulsion so make everything in my backyard the compost pile heated up y'all to like 150 i was so excited <laughs> all right so now we're gonna go ahead and drop some seeds in, in in these holes and i'm just gonna go around and do it to all of them that i can do it to had to lift y'all up. There's a hole. You're, you're sitting in a hole. <laughs> what did I say I was doing? I don't even remember what I said I was going to do. I got a bunch of onion seeds, so I knew I was going to do some spring onions. I have a few nasturtiums, not a lot. Chives, which I can never get started. And the teddy bear sunflowers. So you know what? Let's just wing it. We're going to wing it. We're going to put whatever we want in these holes. That's what we're doing, y'all. So, like I said, I really want my teddy bear sunflowers. So, we're going to start with teddy bear sunflowers over here. 
Or maybe we'll do all teddy bear sunflowers right here. Isn't it interesting how you can plan a whole thing out <laughs> and then you still just do whatever? That's me. I'm putting three in here just because I, I, I need some germination. I need my, my uh, there's four only because I dropped it. <laughs> and then I have to make sure I keep the I keep the soil moist in these holes. They do dry out a little bit faster from what I've seen. I could probably even put some um, squash or zucchini in these holes because the watermelon is still growing. That one little watermelon. So yeah, we're going to just throw a bunch of teddy bear sunflowers on this side and hope for the best because they also get tall. So that's probably a good thing considering the sun comes from this way in the morning and moves this way and there's things that can obstruct the sun so we'll do teddy bear sunflowers right here am i maybe wasting seeds maybe i am but sunflowers are really easy to get seeds from if if they grow <laughs> all right so just like that we are planted out except for the hole that you're sitting in let's plant that one out so just like that, we are planting out, we are revamping, we are doing all of that. And I couldn't be more happy. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to visit me over on Instagram where I post about the things going on in the garden almost every day. Bye y'all. I forgot to show y'all the growing tomatoes that's on the table. Um, so we're gonna take care of those tomorrow we also have the tomatoes that we just harvested together so we're going to take care of these tomorrow and i will record i got my first two cucumbers yay and that's everything not the green ones i'm going to put them in the window but there are others in the window <laughs> oh goodness if they're blushing well i just put them on the table if they were somewhat blushing i put them in the window to help them a little bit faster so yep we are growing food around here. <laughs>